December 26th, 2019, there is an eclipse in your chart, in your life. It happens in your fifth house. Fifth house is children, romance, fun, entertainment, joy, creativity. Fifth house is theater. This fifth house is the house of the gambler where I take a risk. This is the video for Virgo, Ascendant Virgo Rising, 2019 and 2020. Virgo, you have an eclipse occurring in your fifth house. This eclipse is at four degrees Capricorn. You're going to want to know if you have a planet or a point there. Eclipses last they're not about that particular day. Eclipses typically have a life dependent upon the duration of the actual ecliptic event itself. So this eclipse is going to have a lifespan of about four to six years, okay? Which means change is coming. You wanna know in what way change is coming. You wanna know how intense it's gonna be, how, how relevant it's gonna be in your life. You're gonna to need to comment your birth info below or go to the website. I have the link below, astro.com. Pull up your chart yourself, put your birth information in there. You can find out for yourself if this happens, if you if this happens on top of a planet or a point. If you are a subscriber and you haven't had a reading from us yet, we offer a free one-time reading to every subscriber. It is legit, it is not a computer-generated report. You need to tap the bell so that we can communicate back and forth to each other in case I have questions. You might not give me enough information or there might be something with your birth time that we need to have a discussion about. So tap the bell when you put your birth info below and I can give you a free reading. Okay, with that said, for Virgo Ascendant, Virgo Rising, four degrees Capricorn in the fifth house, eclipses mean change is coming. This is a south node, south node solar eclipse. Solar means something new's on the way, a new beginning, a fresh start. South node means I have to first release something. Means I got to remove the old to make room for the incoming new. Okay? So that's in your fifth house. Children, fun, joy, creativity, entertainment. Okay? Romance. Sounds kind of fun, right? It's also the house of gambling, the house of risk-taking. Okay, which means, well, it could mean a lot of things and I'm not going to go any further and say anything else. But what I will say is you would want to know what this happens on a planet or a point in your chart. This would be important. Okay, it's important because it sets up what's going to be coming down for 2020. 2020, we have the big conjunction between Saturn and Pluto and that happens in this same house. It happens in this house, your fifth house. Okay, it's the 13th of January, 2020. Saturn and Pluto. Saturn and Pluto, this means there's a restructuring going on. Pluto is about pulling some shit out by the root and getting rid of it so that something new can grow. It's a restructuring, getting rid of something that you have been doing for a long time, the way you were doing it, the structured way in which you were doing it, okay? So your ideas, the way that you had fun, okay? The way that you did your art, your creativity, the way you were creative, something new is coming in, okay? The romance, okay? That's going, something's changing. And depending upon your chart, and if you have a planet or a point there, has everything to do with how big of a deal this is going to be in your life. Is this just going to be a little change or is it going to be a big ass change? has to do with whether you have a planet or a point there. So if you punch your info down below, I can help you with that. If you want to do it yourself, be my guest. There's a link down below for the free chart, astro.com. Now, I want to tell you today's date. It is the 12th of November. We are having a, we had a, the full moon of Taurus. Now, what I have been strongly guided to share with you guys is that knowing all right, we have to back up a little bit. I started talking about December, but the reason December and January are important is because I want you to know the future so that you can better make choices for right now, okay? Right now, 
because I already talked about the future, but right now it's the 12th of November. What we have coming is the 23rd and the 24th of November. 23rd, 24th, and then 26th. We've got this another download of information, more, more beautiful gifts coming from source, right? Other than the Mercury information we got when we had the Mercury conjunct the sun, we were getting information of what to do, what not to do, information about loved ones, information about whoever, whatever, people behind the scenes, people about from our past, emotions we had about things from our past. So we got downloads of information and clarity, sharper clarity on things. And now we're literally going to be getting something. It could be something tangible. It could be something non-tangible, but it's a gift. We're all going to get this somewhere in our life. And the videos below will tell you, just look up your rising sign and you could also follow it by your sun, moon, or ascendant. But look it up down below and find out if you haven't listened to that. Now, when we get these gifts, because Jupiter is involved, there's this expansiveness, almost an exaggeration that can occur. So whatever we get, because it's connected with Venus at that time, and Venus likes things, she's got desires, and she loves fine things, okay? She likes tangible, physical, material things, food, purses, shoes. If it's a man, it's a woman, right? So you might be willing to spend money on things because you just got something. Maybe you got a raise. Maybe you got a promotion. Maybe you get to work at a different department. It comes with more money. Maybe you won the lottery. Maybe you got an inheritance. Maybe you got something that you didn't have before and you somehow feel that you are able to spend money that you didn't have because somehow you have it, okay? I felt strongly, I felt strongly guided to say, wait. I already said this in the other videos. I did. I was very clear. Wait until Venus gets into tangible, practical, you know, high integrity Capricorn. Capricorn is about my responsibilities. So what will happen is that Venus will get there. It's just three days later, folks. She gets there on the 26th. You'll start understanding better what it is you're supposed to do with this money. Now, again, this is a very physical reading. I wanted, I felt that this is what I was supposed to do. I understand that these downloads, there can be a lot of, you know, information from source. This can be non-tangible stuff for a lot of people, depending upon where you are and your level of evolution, okay, where you are on that path. But at the same time, there's a lot of us who might be getting some, coming into some moolah and we might be thinking, oh yeah, it's time. I finally got what I wanted. So now I can go and get what I really want, get the good stuff. And I'm saying to wait until Venus gets into, gets into Capricorn because Capricorn is all about my responsibilities. It's all about tried, true, tested ways. It's all about, okay, now I have, okay, I got this and I should probably take care of this because, because Capricorn thinks down the road. Capricorn is about, okay, I'm not going to take any risks. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to take any shortcuts because... I know if I do, this could affect me this way, a not so good thing down the road, but I don't want to be there. I want to do something that is establishing financial security for my future. That's Capricorn on a high level. You get to choose whether to express it on a high level or whether to express it on this other level over here, okay? Which means, well, it's just not so great. Like, you're going to have prices to pay later on for that, for expressing here. But if you express here, it, you're going to be happier, trust me, in the long run. And that's what this is about. Capricorn and Capricorn energy is all about structure and doing it, like I said, with high integrity. But understand, if we're thinking about what I told you at the front of this video, go ahead and record it and listen to it again. It's what does Saturn and Pluto mean in Capricorn in your chart? Because you're having that big conjunction on January 13th. Okay? So you may not have as much to spend as you thought you were going to have to spend. It's a possibility. It's a possibility, okay? Or you just need to refocus and, and restructure your spending habits because Pluto and Capricorn is all about a reconstruction period. It's restructuring, okay? It's about pulling some shit out by the root, getting rid of it, and creating this new, this new grid of how I want to be. Set up your energy. Be the divine being that you are and create this new degree of you. I'm out.